Hey guys, how you doing? Today's a little rainy out here, but this is another video of the glass scratch remover of Miami. We're gonna be taking some scratches out of this front office door. Apparently with the storm that just passed Hurricane Irma, uh, they put up some plywood and we got some scratches on these doors. Uh, you can see them through here. We'll take, we took some photos before, so we'll put those in the video so you guys get an idea of what we have here. We're gonna go straight at it with the with that rough mesh pad because these are a little deeper. Uh, that'll take care of it a little quicker, and uh, we should be able to finish the process a little a little quicker, no, faster than normal. Now, I got some comments about the mask. Wearing the mask, you know, the last video that we did was a demonstrational instructional video at the shop. Uh, we didn't use the mask. You should always wear your mask, you know, to prevent anything in the future. We're gonna wear this now, so. You know, it's just a little tricky talking through it and wearing it, so we didn't do it last time, but always wear your mask. This is an N95 mask. They do have other heavier duty masks uh, that protect a little better, but this is just fine for quick things like this. All right, let's get to it. So right away you start to see the scratches come out. I don't know if you can see in the video here, you got some lighter scratches here, a couple deep ones. But uh, now with this mesh pad, they've gotten, got come down a bit. You can see that one's almost gone. But uh, these deeper ones, we'll, we'll keep hitting it with this pad until it comes down, then we'll hit it with the numbers one through four and finish up with the polish. dust that off. I'm just going to go and check it now with the temperature. Remember last time you want to keep that temperature between 120, 150, you know, keep it closer to the 120 mark. So we'll check that out. Right now we're only hitting about 100, 108 on this side. So it's not too bad. We'll keep going with it. Flip the, flip the, the mesh over, get the other side that's new. Put the mask back on. And I've already taped it off. That tape helps reduce a little bit of the dust that, you know, that's flying around, keeps it in a nice space instead of flying all around. Got a few pads, left. got a few areas here. And that's about halfway right now. Still got those deeper scratches, but we're good. I'll dust that off, you see that? That's what you don't want to be breathing in. All right, most of those scratches are gone. Got a little more to go. And yeah, this is uh, one of our first videos on the field. We got a few more videos coming up. Uh, car windshields, staircases, and nice uh, homes. We'll be showing you those later. We've got to work on those a bit. But we are on the field here in Miami. You can hear the, the rain and the, the lightning striking every couple minutes. Well, we go out to you, wherever the panels are, wherever the glass is at, we'll travel out to your area and, and take care of it. So you want to stick with that up and down pattern and left to right pattern as well. That keeps the distortion down. You want to keep it as even and as possible. You see, we already we had marked the green line on in there is where where the scratches were inside of, and we're spreading it out. You know, getting it past that green line a bit, just to spread that out so it's less noticeable when you finish the job. Okay, that looks really good. Right here near the edge. 
There's a little bit of scratch, but very light. Thing is, we can't get too close to the edge because then you run into the heat issue and you could, that's the most you know, sensitive part of the glass and you want to be really careful getting close to that edge. We got as close as we could there and uh, it looks much better than when we first got started. Okay guys, we're back with the uh, that number one pad. We just finished the process with the mesh pad that got down to the bottom of the scratches. So now what we're going to do is re start removing the haze that that creates. Oh, here we go. So when you see me doing that circular pattern around the edge, remember what I said, where you see the differences between this and the haze. That clear in the haze, that's where you want to really work it so you don't see where the, the, the repair was done. Let's take this off. So that's that number one pad. Separate this a bit, a little too close to the repair. I'm gonna just hit it a little more. I stopped about halfway here. I wanna give it another little pass over before we go up to the number two. So this number one pad still, still eats at the glass a bit more than the uh, more than a number two would. So uh, if any little bits of edges on a scratch didn't come out, this number one should get it. All right, so we're done with that one. Here's our number two pad. This is just gonna start to remove that haze even more. Hope you can see it in the video, but it's cleared up significantly. The haze is lightening up every time you you know you keep going with the with the pads. I'm just checking it here. It looks perfect. temperature 122 125 114 133 we're looking good I feel we're done with the number two pad and go to a three Okay, so these number three pads, you can almost skip it. You know, you can go from like a two to a good four. But this number three, if you really give it a good work, it really helps clear it up and get that haze perfect. So that number four, you don't have to kill it so much because it is such a light pad. But I like giving it a good round with this. See, it's cutting, beautiful job. We actually, we've been doing pretty good with the other video and I wanna thank everybody for watching and commenting and we'll have much more for you guys to see. All right. I think we're done with these guys. We're gonna go take out the paste so we can take care of this uh, last bit of haze. All right guys, so we're back. We finished the dry process, which is the pads, those, those larger black pads, to remove the, the, uh, the scratches that we had here and those, that really hard haze that you get from the first pads. So we finished that process, now we're gonna go to the wet process, which is the small 
pad here with the cerium oxide. And I got the marker in my hand because I'm going to go back there and mark where this haze has spread out to because remember you want to spread that, that work, that, that haze as much as possible to spread out the, the, the repair. You know, because if you, if you work too close, too narrow, you, get a, you could get distortion. I'm just going to open this door. You see I'm doing that on the other side. Don't, don't do that on the repair. Okay. We've already checked the temperature. We're down to about 100 degrees, so we don't have any issues with, uh, with heat. If you have any questions on the products that we use, you can always send us an email. The email is glass scratch remover of glass scratch remover Miami at gmail.com. Hope I got that right. So a little more to go and the repair will be done. I think we've been at it now for about 20 minutes, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna clean it up now with the orange pad and give it a nice little wipe and we should be, should be finished. Okay. All right. That is beautiful. Okay. Well, there's the video, we got the window, I'm sorry. There's the video, we got the, the door here at the office taken care of. We'll call the client now and have him come by, take a look at it. But well, we've already actually done two more on the other side, so we'll show you those pictures as well, before and afters. And uh, this looks like it's a done job. All the haze is gone. And that's it. Thanks guys, give us a call. 305-773-5889 if you need our services uh, anytime, anywhere, Miami. We're located in Miami. We'll go anywhere you want. Thanks.